a 30,000 square foot building uh, specifically for training basketball uh, athletes and other athletes, different sports with speed and agility. The basketball training center, we have leagues, we have camps, we have tournaments for AAU. Um, we also have everything to do with training. We do shooting clinics, post clinics, and we have uh, a, a ton of other things, you know, defensive clinics. Um, anything to do with basketball, we have it here. This will be my sixth year for training, and uh, that's how it all started. It was just doing uh, training for individuals, and then we got into groups and camps. Uh, from there, we had requests from high school coaches to do leagues. Uh, once we started putting on the leagues, that's when we knew that we should open up a facility. Things have changed over the years. Now, kids are playing a, one sport for the whole year. Uh, that's kind of where we come in. The high school coaches, they're, they're handcuffed on how much time they're allowed to spend with their kids, um, which I think is, in one way I understand it, but in another way, I think we're really you know, holding our kids back. If it's supposed to be about education and getting scholarships and, and going to the next level with your education, I think we should be doing a lot more for the athlete that can earn that scholarship where their parents don't have to pay it or they don't walk out of college, you know, owing $100,000, $150,000. Um, and that's, that's kind of the concept that we have is we want to try and get everyone to the next level, whether it's a scholarship or just making the team and making the starting five. So we're, we're behind the athlete, we're behind the parent, uh, trying to make things as, as best as possible. The coaches feel comfortable sending players here and understanding that, you know, we're going to develop them and then we're going to send them back to you and where they're going to be in better condition, better shape, but and they'll be more talented. Um, so we, we stride hard to work together with the coaches to let them know that, you know, we're here to support your program. It's about development. We want you to come in and have a good time, but we want you to get better as a team and as an individual. And the parents are starting to understand that more and more of really we're, we're out to help people. We're out to make a good environment. We have a great facility. We have two NBA courts. The actual court we're sitting on right now is the actual Denver Nugget court from the Pepsi Center, which the kids love to come in. They love playing on it, getting their picture taken. That Every NBA star has played on this court. We're out to have a good environment. They could drop their kid off at the front door and they know that at Greg Grant's, they're gonna be, the kid's gonna be safe. We're gonna watch out for them and they can pick them up after the training session, after their league, or if they wanna come in, we make sure the place is clean. We make sure that it's a great environment and uh, you know, it's, it's really positive. It's a family atmosphere. I brought in some very good trainers. Um, one of the best in the area, his name's John Simmons. He's a professional bodybuilder. You know, he just does a great job. He's actually the same guy that trained me when I was at University of Detroit Mercy um, and helped me get ready to play pro basketball. We need something like this. There's a couple places that offer basketball leagues and there's some people that offer training. Um, but nobody has the background or even the educational background to relate to the kids like I do. And I have different schools of basketball, I'm different than everybody else. I just didn't play in America, you know, and there's different fundamentals uh, that are taught in, in different parts of the world. And I was fortunate enough to, to train under a lot of great people, a lot of great players, a lot of great coaches. And that and really makes me unique and what I can offer. So it's another thing that when we start talking about the facility, the needs of to have good leagues um, with great referees, and everyone will tell you our referees are, we have the best referees. So that's another thing that people like when they come here. We get compliments on that all the time, and, and if you're gonna compliment a referee, that's rare. You don't hear that too often. We've opened up memberships for our, our upstairs for our weight room facility. We have a 40-yard piece of turf uh, that we have up there that um, we also have the batting cages on. Um, and then we have a weight room. And the weight room is now open for a membership for just a $25 fee per month. And you can come in and use the weight room how you want to use it. And then we also have trainers, like I mentioned before, if you want some personal training or if you want some advice on just getting started or what you should be doing. A lot of people that come in to watch their kids play, instead of sitting on the bleachers, you know, maybe they go up and get on the bike for a half hour or they want to go lift or work out while their kids are here or if they're practicing or playing. And um, maybe it's, 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 it fits a need of, you know, for a parent that is running all over the place and now they can get their workout in at a certain time. I was in every possible building in Macomb and Oakland County because it's very difficult to find a building that has the span of the beams. We went into Sterling Heights and what, what great people, you know, at the city. 
I mean, I, I don't think any other city could have backed us up and helped us move things along as quickly as they did. Uh, they bent over backwards for us. They, you know, whatever they could do. I mean, it, it was smart. You know, we're, we're bringing in revenue. We bring in revenue for so many businesses. Um, for, we run a, a lot of tournaments. We get a, a lot of Canadians that come from out of town. We get people from other states, from Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. They all come into town to play in our tournaments. They're staying in our hotels. They're going to our restaurants. So to bring us in, it was just a wise decision to, to, to keep us here and, and make it as easy as possible for us to, to get the business up and get it running because all the other businesses in Sterling Heights benefit from us being here.